Hello everyone. Today I will be going to teach you about the concept of subnetting, which is very important in computer networks. So basically, what does subnetting means? Subnetting means dividing a network into multiple small networks. Suppose there is a college which has around 1,000 PCs, so it it wants to divide the number of PCs to different branches. Suppose 200 PCs to electronic branch, 200 PCs to biochemical branch, and 200 PCs to chemical branch, and so on. So there is a distributed amount of PCs. So this is how dividing a large amount of network into small network. So this is the concept of subnetting. We use mainly this concept of subnetting to save the wastage of IP addresses. Now there is a point to be noted is that IP your address which is internet protocol version 4 address is of 32 bits because 4 blocks in which 1 block containing 8 bits because 8 into 4 32 bits. Remember IP for address is of 32 bits and it contains 4 blocks and 1 block contains 8 bits. Now there are two types of subnetting. First is FLSM and second is VLSM. Now the example of FLSM. FLSM which stands for fixed length subnet mask which means suppose uh, the previous example a college has around 1000 PCs so every branch should have should get equal amount of PCs 200 to electronic branch 200 to chemical branch 200 to biochemical branch and so on so it's divided into equal number of PCs to every branch now coming to VLSM VLSM which stands for variable length subnet mask which means every branch has getting different amount of PCs suppose electronic is getting 500 PCs and the chemical and biochemical branches are getting around 50 to 100 PCs means all the branches are getting different amount of PCs so this is variable so this is the concept of VLSM and FLSM now in this video I'm going to teach you about the numerical of FLSM which is fixed length subnet mask how a network is divided into equal number of subnet now for that you basically you need to know the concept of classful addressing which is this table. Now look there are five types of classes which is class A, B, C, D and E. So mainly in this uh, computer networks you need, you need to know class A, B, C because class D and E are not in use. Now look this class A you must remember the range ok. Now look the class A has a range from 0 to 127 and class B has a range from 128 to 191 and class C which has a range from 192 to 223 and class D and E are range from 224 to 239 and 240 to 255 now look you should remember the subnet mask of A, B, C because this is important in FLSM numericals now look the class A which has a subnet mask of 255.0.0.0 and class B which has a subnet mask of 255.255.0.0 and class C which has a subnet mask of 255.255.255.0 and class D and here experimental and practical okay now coming to the numerical portion of FLSM now the question in exam which will be given to us is that let's consider an IP address which suppose is an IP address which uh, which is given to us which is 192.168.10.0 the question is by using FLSM divide this network this IP address into four sub networks now the first step that you need to follow to solve this question and divide into four sub network is find to which class does it belong to from where you will find it this first block look this this contains 192 now let's see this 192 comes in which range like the 192 comes in this third range which is class C so it belongs to class C right here it it belongs to class C now now you should remember with the subnet mask of class C the subnet mask of class C is 255.255.255.0 when you got the subnet mask of class C and you know that it is a class C a descent subnet mask is this now your step 1 is completed now coming to the step 2 step 2 is important because now you have to see how many subnetworks you want to create now in this question it is asked to us to create a subnetwork of 4 so right here I am writing here we want to create 4 subnetworks I wrote here 4 now the next step is you have to see what is 2 raised to power something which is greater than or equal to 4 look 2 raised to power 2 2 raised to power 2 raised to power 2 is something which is equal to 4 look the power that we have added in the subnet mask in this manner will be like, I have added 2 2 raised to power 
2 so I have used this power in this manner now look this 255 can be written in this form as well it's 8 times 1 because one block contains 8 bits now look this 255 came from this condition now this starting from right 2 raised to power 0 2 raised to power 1 look the power should always begin from 2 raised to power 0 and divided in every form Look, 1 into 2 raised to power 0, 1 into 2 raised to power 1, 1 into 2 raised to power 2, 1 into 2 raised to power 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. When you will solve this, you will get 255 only because this is the end most bit that you can get. No 256, no 30, this is not useful. 255 is the last bit you can get. Now, it is a class C which has a mask of 255.255.255.0 .255 .255 .255 so it can be written in this form as well 8 times 1, 8 times 1, 8 times 1 dot 0 because it is 0 255 is there, it can be written as you can say it, as it is like also 255 is equal to 8 times 1 now the concept of this powers took 2 raised to power 2 which is greater than and also equal to 4 you have to add this 2 raised to power 2 the 2 that the power that we have got in the last block in this block from this right left side I have added here 2 once because the power was 2 now you know this 8 times 1 8 times 1 8 times 1 is 2 5 have already you no need to do the calculation but you have to do the calculation of this when you will do the calculation of this you will get look 1 and 2 raised to power 7 2 8 plus 6 when you do this calculation you will get 128 plus 64 because everything divided by 0 is 0 you will only get the question on 2 raised to power 6 which is 64 I wrote here and 2 raised to power 7 is 128 when you will do the addition you will get 192 now you have to convert it into this numerical form the mathematical form this is which is 8 times 1 is 255 255 dot 255 and this this form is equal to 192 I wrote it here now this completes our step 2 now coming to step 3 now we have to subtract the MSP and CSP what is MSP and CSP MSP means maximum subnet mask means the highest IP that which can be assigned to a network the maximum IP that can be assigned to a network is 255.255.255.255 this is the maximum subnet mask that a network can have now what is CSP CSB here means converted subnet mask now this is the converted subnet mask that we have created now when we got MSB and CSB we have to do the subtraction now this is the maximum subnet mask and this is the converted subnet mask now when you are doing this question of FLSM make sure you are doing with me because if you not do the question with me you will not get the point of view I am talking about so do this question with me and uh, you will get everything I am talking about now look you have to do the subtraction part now when you will subtract 255 minus 192 you will get 63 and rest all is 0 because 255 minus 255 is 0 you will get this difference 0 dot 0 dot 63 now this is the difference which will help in making the subnet work into 4 parts now we have to convert this network which is 192.168.10.0 into 4 subnetwork so add this difference and when we will add this difference 192.168.10.0 with this difference 0 0.0.63 we will get here 192.168.10.63 now this is the range now the first subnetwork range will be from this 192.168.10.0 to 192.168.10.63 this is our first range we have created our first subnetwork now we are left with 3 now how to create the second subnetwork now look the 63 is fully filled now we will add 1 plus 1 to make it 64 because the 63 cannot be coincided with both the subnetworks so 63 is ended in first network and 64 will be starting from second network now we added plus 1 here and we add the same difference now when you will add this you will get 192.168.10.127 now the second range the second subnetwork that we have got is from 64 to 192.168 168.10.127 this is our second subnetwork range 
now coming to the third network range now look 127 cannot be done two times so we will add plus one here it will be 128 now we add this defense that we have got the defense will be now when we will do addition it will be 192.168.10.191 now this is our third network range third network range will be from 120, 128 to 192.168.10.191 this is our third network range now 191 cannot be common in both the networks so we will add plus 1 we will make it 192 and we will add here the difference the difference here will be the, we will add it the difference now the addition will be 192.168.10.255 now we have got the maximum subnet mask of this fourth network it, it, its network range will be from 10 uh, 192.168.10.192 to 192.168.10.255 so this is our how we completed our four sub networks from one IP addresses now there is a point to be noted is that we will only add the power once at the last bit cycle only whether it is a class A, B, C or any address now look, this point is referring to this step because the power that we have got to reach power 2 is added to the last bit only this last block okay from not from this right side 0 from this left side and you will do the calculation and you will get this converted subnet mask and when you will divide it from the maximum subnet mask the the difference that you will be getting here we will do addition and plus 1 addition this is you will get easily this is very easy FLSM now look this is a point to be noted that power once at the last bit cycle only whether it is a class A, B, C and it is now the example I have took care of numerically it is a class C address I have not talked about the class A and B so I am giving you an example of a class A now look a similar question uh, suppose given to a, a class A network is given here which is this 125.56.25.0 and given to us we have to divide it into 4 sub networks now look first step is it is a class A address and its subnet mask is 255.0.0.0 now the next step that we have to do is what is 4 subnet mask 2 raised to power what is equal to greater than equal to something so 2 raised to power 2 is greater than equal to 4 so 2 when you will do in the la add 2 once at the last bit cycle only you will get 192 now look when you will do the MSB minus CSB part this 255.255 divided by this condition you will do this 255 because it is a class A and there are two zeros in between and the last 192 now when you will do the minus subtraction uh, there is an exception which is when you will do this 255 minus 192 you will get 63 now when you will do 255 minus 0 which is common you will get 255 only because I have done this mistake in my exam which, which was wrong so I asked my sir oh, what is the solution he said the exception is computer network is when you divide the maximum subnet mask which is 255 with the least subnet mask you will get 0 only now this is this condition is wrong the correct is 255 minus 192 is 63 and look 255 minus 0 is 0 only remember 255 minus 0 is 0 only and 255 minus 255 is 0 so this is the difference that you will be getting you can think as like this also there is no difference in ABC the difference you will getting in this only I hope you liked my video now follow the same step as done before and do the following same step as done before so this is how FLSM is done computer networks I hope you liked my video if you like then please share and subscribe thank you